Welcome to the first video of my new series, videos that should be on YouTube but aren't, so Mr. Mariko has to make it. Inspired by the fact that there are a lot of videos that I'm tired of looking for, so I'm just going to make them myself. Welcome to my first video, which is about the Congress of Racial Equality. In this video, we will take a look at when CORE was established, key leaders, key events, and why you should care, and maybe just a little bit more about CORE. CORE was established in 1942 by black and white students in Chicago, Illinois. Heavily inspired by Mahatma Gandhi, CORE was a leading group of the nonviolent resistance through the mid-1960s. CORE had several key values, many of which were based on the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. One of the most famous is soul force, which would be used by Martin Luther King in his famous I Have a Dream speech. They focus on nonviolent means like sit-ins and have a strong belief in acting as an interracial organization. CORE also had several key figures who were very influential in the civil rights movement. Their leaders include James Farmer, first president of CORE, Floyd McKissick, the second president of CORE, and Roy Innes, third president of CORE. James Farmer was active through most of the early years of the civil rights movement, while McKissick and Innes would be responsible for taking CORE in a different direction. In their early years, CORE was minimally successful as an organization until Brown vs. Board. They would rise to prominence in the Montgomery bus boycott, working closely with the SCLC and Dr. King. After the Morgan vs. Virginia case that would desegregate buses, CORE decided to test the decision by sending black and white students on bus trips. As the Freedom Rides went on, they grew more and more violent, even with one bus firebombed by a mob. In spite of the resistance, the Freedom Rides would be one of the key events behind the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 that would end segregation in all public places. The Freedom Rides were a success for CORE, who would go on to be a sponsor of the March on Washington. CORE would continue their work, focusing on voter registration and further activism. After the passage of the Civil Rights Act, CORE would organize a voter registration drive in Mississippi. Tragically, four CORE volunteers were killed, deeply hurting morale within the organization. After the Freedom Summer, CORE was shaken. Over time, CORE would move towards being a black power organization with less emphasis on cooperation with whites. With MLK's assassination in 1968, CORE would also move away from nonviolence. So why does CORE matter? CORE was one of the most influential organizations in the civil rights movement. As one of the earliest groups, they set the foundation for nonviolence and cooperation. For almost every crucial event, CORE was there to organize and sponsor events. Thank you for watching this first edition of What Happens When There Are Videos That Should Be On YouTube But Aren't So Mr. Rareco Has To Make It. We'll see what happens next time whenever I get annoyed and decide to make my own YouTube video.